my never-ending pursuit of 24-7 hours a day doing art. I only wish there could be more time. Today, this groundbreaking moment, I'm going to be doing my first individual small tabletop springy people painting. And I don't have a sketch. I've got a kind of an idea in my mind. Uh, I'm thinking maybe um, Jesus fighting Satan in the Superdome. Because that would be a pretty good ticket. I figure if they were going to fight one another, it would probably be in the Superdome. <clears throat> a cage match, perhaps. You know, with tables that split in two and folding chairs. It would be something. Wow. So I'm going to start with a square base that's about 12 inches square. And I was thinking about breaking out my new router and routing the edges, but that would only inflate the cost. So I think I'll just give the edges a light sanding to knock the splinters down. And I'm wondering if I should do anything more to it. Because the more I do to it, the more money I'll expect to get out of it. Unfortunately, sham wows are made in Germany, and you know how good the Germans make stuff. This is made in America. So I apologize about that. But there's not much I can do about it. Uh, by America. Yay. So while I'm getting up the energy to do this painting, they've got this, you know, begging thing on public TV for money. That's fine. But why is it that they always run this doo-wop show? Is that the middle of the road? Why can't they run something like, uh, you know, they ate my atomic brain? Can death be outwitted? Is the secret of eternal life just around that corner? I mean, some, like, halfway decent movie. I, you know, they don't run, it's like public, you know what I'm saying? They have to, like, appeal to everyone. They do not have any movies about atomic brains. And I'm just, I'm not going to give them one single red dime before or after the second coming. It doesn't matter. I don't think the second coming is going to make public TV any better. Although I like Ken Burns stuff. That's, that's pretty awesome. Oh, so now I'm feeling guilty because I watched Ken Burns' documentary. He didn't give them any money. Well, thank you very much, public TV and your donation show. That's all I needed today. See, there's something I didn't want to do. I didn't want to have to cut that piece of wood or this piece of wood. See, I've got this thing now. I had to cut a piece of wood on an angle. That takes time, so the value of the piece is going up. And that goes here. Now, see, why did I cut that so that that was on the front? Jesus Christ, there's the flaw. Now the value goes down. So that goes like that. That's part of my Superdome. I'm gonna paint my little people in little in a, like bench seat, bleacher seats in my Superdome. <clears throat> so here are my uh, uh, spectators in the uh, Superdome, preparing to watch the uh, fight between uh, Satan and Jesus. And we have a diverse group. They all come in all different colors and, uh, and uh, sexes. See, I, see, I utilize this uh, imperfection in the wood. That's a challenged person right there. I guess that would be me. And <clears throat> so there, like I'm saying, it's like a, a cross section of humanity here because we're all going to burn in hell, right? And without your support, I won't be able to fight the Antichrist during the second coming. Well, no, actually, I'll be hiding. And, and, and don't you tell him where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he probably knows how to use Google and just can find a photograph of my house on the damn internet. But I don't want to, like, you know, like, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he's, like, old school, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just going to have to go door to door to get people and throw them into the furnace. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we've got it all put together, and there's Jesus. On Jesus' side of the ring there, and he's just... 
make him rock and roll, he's on the spring. And uh, there's some trash talk going around the frame. Like, you, you nothing, Satan, you know, give it up, fool. Burn forever, which is my plan. So Jesus is the Satan's uh, best wishes at heart. And uh, when you go on this side, and, and you got uh, you got the devil there. See, he's all pumped up and he's ready to go on the spring. And it says here, you you nothing, Jesus. I eat you for lunch and dinner and midday snack. That's just trash talking. Yes, indeed. This is my attempt to uh, create quality artwork at a reasonable price, uh, something that I can uh, sell on eBay. Uh, I think I was one of the pioneers, uh, eBay pioneers. I was selling artwork. Oh, I don't know, when did I get on there? Uh, 1998, 1999. <clears throat> and even and back in the heyday when people would pay $10 for <coughs> a, a wadded up a piece of paper, you know, um, I was selling artwork for ten dollars. It's amazing, you know. So things have come a long way, and uh, <clears throat> so I ha so this is your chance for a reasonable price and and, and, and inexpensive shipping as well to uh, own a piece of me. Well, it's more like you're buying like a particle of my soul, just a, a really small piece. And, you know, if you bought a real painting, you get like maybe six or seven particles all in one kind of ball that can, you know, I don't know swirl around inside your brain. I don't know how that works. There they are. They're in the Smackdown Superdome. They're gonna go head to head and toe to toe or, you know, whatever they, whatever supernatural spirits say to one another. They're gonna, they're just gonna take it on. And I'm looking at this, uh, this purple character again. And it looks kind of like a monkey. And, you know, I guess, I guess a monkey could be the big time wrestling match like this so <clears throat> but I don't know if monkeys have souls or not do chimps maybe it's chimps that have souls I'm not sure I'm not really well versed on you know monkey like afterlife stuff for monkeys so I'm not sure about that probably the whole thing's gonna go up in some kind of like atomic conflagration how do you say that configuration can Flag confer like a really big fireball. I think that's like that'd be it. Let's do that again. Doink, 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 doink. I mean, you could do this all day, couldn't you? And another good thing about my artwork is that if the economy completely fails and you need to like cook some potatoes that you stole out of your neighbor's garden. You can you can burn this and it will create heat. So I think, compared to most other art I've seen on eBay, that you can get more BTUs out of my artwork. So that's definitely a plus. I mean, isn't it worth the price of admission? I mean, look at that. People be sitting at your coffee table, say, "Oh, let me let me punch Jesus." No, let me punch the devil. No, let me punch Jesus. No, I'm the devil. No, I'm Jesus. No, who's stronger? Who would beat each? Who would win, the devil or or Jesus? Who's stronger? And then you'd come up with like, well, Jesus has magical powers, and like the devil has command of fire and brimstone and, and evilness. Like his brain works like evilness, and Jesus's brain doesn't understand evil, so Jesus can't use evil against. Yes, he's using. He has to use niceness and love and kindness, well, which is probably why we're still like swimming in this cesspool of, you know, bizarre mixture of whatever we're doing here, you know, because these guys are on the same page, man. Get it together and solve your problems. It's time for change. It's time to hope for the future. That's what I've got. Hope for the fucking future. And on the bottom, I've signed it with my big fat melon head representation of myself. Good luck. Mark Betcher, Ryan Heights, Kentucky. Good luck. I hope you don't go to hell.